Welcome to Care Canada Driving School Driving Tips. Today's driving tips is about the parallel parking. So I'm gonna show you how to parallel park in just three super easy steps. And if you follow these steps, you will never fail an exam. And you know what? You can complete parallel parking in just less than a minute. I'm going to use Toyota Corolla 2020 sedan in this parallel parking exercise. However, you can use the same reference points if you are using a different vehicle, as long as the windows and the vehicle that you are using is relatively of the same size. So are you ready? Let's just get started. So let's just go to the step number one. So when you're starting the parallel parking, the first thing you have to do, turn the left signal on, left mirror check, shoulder check and also perform the oncoming traffic check. Straight your car, move slowly and turn on the right signal. Make sure you must maintain 18 to 24 inches distance from the poles while you're going straight. Now stop when you see the pole number one on the right corner post of your vehicle as shown in the image top. Let's go to the step number two. Now, you have to change the gear to reverse and before you move, perform 360 check. What is 360 check? Meaning, look around you. Look all sides, from the left side, rear side, front side and the right side. So, reverse your car slowly, straight reverse until you see pole number 2 just before the center of the back passenger side window on the right side, as shown in the image. So now, turn the steering wheel all the way to the right. And this concludes your step number two. Let's go to the final and very critical step. Step three, perform 360 check again and keep reversing until you see pole number four in the center of the small triangle window at the very end on your left side as shown in the image. Now here, is, here I want to mention one more thing. If you are, you are an average height person, you're gonna bring the pole number four in the middle of that triangle window. If you are a tall person, you're gonna bring the pole number four at the very beginning where I have mentioned the letter A, like in the very beginning of a small triangle window. And if you are a short height person, then you're gonna bring the pole number four at the point C, like at, at the driver's side, okay? Now, turn when you, when you locate the pole number four in the middle of that triangle window, stop, and turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. Now, keep reversing and look straight at the hood of the car and stop once your vehicle is completely straight. Turn your steering wheel about one and a half to the right to straighten it and then move a bit if you need be. Shift your gear into parking and you are done. You will definitely be parked within 18 inches from the curb. Okay guys, let's now put these steps into action and let's just do the parallel parking. Now, the first step as I mentioned, turn the left signal on, do your checking, move very slowly and keep your distance around 18 to 24 inches from the poles. Make sure your distance has to be within 24 inches, not more than that. Okay, keep going until you go to the last pole and when the last pole appears on right hand side corner as shown in this red box over there, and then stop. Turn the right signal on, keep the right signal on, start moving slowly and reverse your car. Now, always remember, go slow. Okay, keep going until you see pole number two uh, near the middle center of the right side window as shown in this picture. And turn all the way to the right. Okay, keep going slowly, very slow. Keep going, keep going, keep going until you see pole number four. Pole number four in the middle of the small triangle window, as you can see that. Now, you're gonna stop and turn all the way to the left. Here we go. Keep turning. Now, you're gonna start very slowly. Reverse your car. Keep reversing. Keep reversing. Good job. Keep going, keep going. Here we go. And you're gonna stop here. All right, now you're gonna straight your wheels, as I told you, one and a half to the right, move a bit, and 
shift your gear into park. Here we go. Now look, so beautiful parallel parking. Your distance looks like a less than, yeah, it's seven inches only. And you're allowed to park within 18 inches from the curb in exam. As long as your car is within 18 inches, you are passed. Perfect. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment section and I would love to answer that. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.